Welcome my dear students in our course International Financial Markets for uh, FMI students. Today we will start our lecture number 6 with page 96 in chapter 2. The first topic today will talk about forex market transactions. Generally the first transaction in the forex market will talk about international arbitrage. International arbitrage definition an immediate purchase and sale of currency in various forex markets in order to gain from exchange rate differentiated in two or more markets. For example, say two forex rates different in the uh, Miss Bank and the Ahli Bank. Talk about bid price and ask price. In this case, for example, you can purchase a currency from a bank, Bank A, and sell the currencies at Bank B. So, in all cases, each transaction shifts both supply and demand for currencies. Remember in the last lecture, we talked about two determinations for the market, supply and demand. The forex rate, uh, the forex rate subject to the case of demand and case of supply. And we connect the uh, exchange uh, or the forex market with the balance of payments. When we talk about the, uh, the, the payment side and the balance of payments, this is demand for uh, uh, foreign currencies or demand for dollars. The, uh, the side for revenues in the balance of payment, this is the demand, this is the supply supply of foreign currencies or supply of dollars generally how many categories in case of international arbitrage the first locational locational arbitrage is possible when a bank's buying price or when we talk about the, the big price is greater than another bank selling the price or ask price you can check about table 2-2, page 97 in our text textbook. One round trip a locational arbitrage. In case of bank Mesr, bid price, bid price equals 16.0235 Egyptian pound per 1 US dollar. At the same bank, ask price or ask rate 16.0435 Egyptian pounds per one US dollar another bank for example Al Ahli bank bid price equal 16.0450 Egyptian pounds per one US dollar against against the ask price or ask rate Equal 16.0560 US dollar uh, Egyptian pounds per one US dollars. If you want to create locational arbitrage, number one, you can purchase the US dollar from Miss Bank with price. 16.0435 Egyptian pounds per US dollar and then sell currencies or the US dollar with Al Ahli Bank with price 16.0450 per US dollar. Say, suppose you purchase 100,000 of US dollar. 100,000 of US dollar. You will multiply 100,000 of US dollar with the price, how many price? Per dollar 16.0435. Now, 
you can sell dollars one hundred thousand dollars with one six point oh four fifty Egyptian pounds per US dollar you can get the the uh, profit or gains between the different or the gap between ask price in Mr. Bank and the bid price for Ahli Bank. Take care. When we talk about a bid and ask, this is from the bank view. Bank view. The second, so uh, how many profit? How many profit? Profit is very, very little or limited to O point O point O O one five. 0.0015 this is the gap between ask price in Mr. Bank and the bid price in Il Ahli Bank. The second second category for international arbitrage talk about triangular arbitrage. In this case, what the difference between locational and triangular arbitrage? In case of locational, how many markets? Two. Only two markets. In the last example, two markets. But in case of triangle arbitrage, we talk about three markets. So, how many currencies? In the last, we talk about only two currencies, Egyptian pound and US dollar. In case of triangle arbitrage, we talk about how many currencies? Egyptian pound, US dollar, and euro. Three currencies in our case. So, triangular arbitrage is possible when a cross forex rate code differ, differs from the published spot forex rate. Mainly, we will check about triangular arbitrage, possible or not. Okay, by calculating the the, the cross forex rate cross forex rate okay in case of our uh, problem number five page 97 suppose suppose there is uh, there are uh, three forex spot rates in three markets market a 15 point 15.95 Egyptian pound per US dollar in market B, 18.34 Egyptian pounds per euro in market C, 1.15 US dollar per euro. Now, required number one, test the arbitrage condition to design the, the triangle arbitrage pathways with the forex rates. Number three, test the triangle arbitrage pathway if you have 10 million euro, 10 million of euros. First, cross forex rate, cross, uh, cross forex rate. Suppose we will choose or select market A and market B because Egyptian bound in the left side you can check about cross forex rate between market B and market C because euro at the same side right side well LE 18.34 Egyptian pounds per euro we can rewrite this rate by LE divided euro one point fifteen US dollar per euro we can rewrite that US dollar divided euro so when we try to check about cross forex rate between market B and market C LE divided euro equal 18.34 US dollar 
divided euro equal 1.15 when we calculate the relationship between market B and market C you can get that the gross forex rate equal 15.94 15.94 this is the calculated or cross forex rate 15.94 Egyptian pound per US dollar when we compare between 15.94 Egyptian pound per US dollar this is cross forex rate with the published forex rate 15.95 per US dollar there is a gap maybe 0.01 but mainly gap between cross forex rate and the published forex rate when the gap exists so we talk about triangle arbitrage is possible triangle arbitrage is possible this is the first requirement you can use a graph like this graph our simple graph we will draw three circles with three currencies circle for example circle for euro circle for Egyptian pound circle for US dollar we will use the published forex rates to convert from one currency to another but take care how many pathways for our triangular arbitrage two only two we will check the two sides two sides for triangular arbitrage pathways first with blue sign suppose you have euro you can convert euro to US dollar by multiply 1.15 multiply 1.15 the same plus side now I have dollars and I want to convert from dollars to Egyptian bound yes with our plus sign multiply 15.95 now I have Egyptian pound and I want to pack again for the euro divided 18.34 this is the first pathway the first pathway the second pathway the same we started with our euro we convert in the first step euro to Egyptian bound by multiply 18.34 now I have Egyptian bound and I want to I want to go to do the dollar want to go the, the dollar with this sign or this direction you will divide it 15.95 uh, and when I have dollar I want to pack again for euro by divided 1.15 to check about loss or gains so in general two pathways blue from euro to dollar to Egyptian bound and back again to euro or from euro to Egyptian bound to dollar and back again to euro sure one pathway the result equal loss the other pathway sure the result equal profit one pathway equal profit the other pathway equal loss we can record that if you want to convert from euro to US dollar with direction multiply 1.15 but 
the next pathway if you have dollar and you want to convert to euro you will multiply sorry you will divide it divide it 1.15 in two cases multiply in one pathway the other pathway divide it divide it in path in the in the pathway the other pathway multiply multiply divide it okay this is the, the, the graph or figure for the triangular arbitrage pathways. Now, required number three. If I have 10 million of euro, 10 million of euro, wait, well, 10 million of euro, we will, you, you should check the two pathways. You should check the two pathways. 10 million from euros, euro. And we will check the the blue one the blue one ten millions ten millions of euro and we'll check the blue direction pathway to convert ten millions from euro to dollar multiply one point fifty multiply 1.15 equal 11.5 11 millions point five hundred thousands of US dollars 11 millions 11 millions point five hundred thousands of US dollars now the dollars Converted to with the same plus sign, converted to Egyptian bound by multiplying the 11.5 millions of dollars by 15.95 to get the value with Egyptian pound. This equal 183 millions. Four hundred and two five thousands, four hundred and two five thousand Egyptian pound. Now we want to convert this value from Egyptian pound with the same plus sign to euro by divided the volume or the number of one hundred and eighty three millions. 425,000 of Egyptian pound multiplied 18.34 18.34 equal 10 millions 10 millions of euro and 1,363 10 millions and 1,363 now we started with 1 million euro we finished with uh, sorry we started with 10 millions of euro we finished with 10 million and 1363 so sure sure this direction is the pathway of profit this pathway of profit the net net profit net profit equal 1,363 euro <clears throat> suppose the same direction so the, the blue direction this is profit direction profit pathway now in our example we started with euro now I want to start with US dollar the same direction you convert 10 millions of dollars to Egyptian pounds by multiplying with 15.95 now you convert the Egyptian pound to euro by divided the value with 18.34 and now I want to back again to the dollar or US dollar 
by multiplying 1.15 sure the profit equal 1363 dollars the same profit suppose I was, I was I will I want to start with Egyptian pound 1 million or 10 million of Egyptian pounds the same convert the Egyptian pounds by multiplying to the, the value with 18.34 to euro and the value to convert from euro to, to US dollar multiplied by 1.15 and to, to back again to Egyptian pound from dollars dollars multiplied by 15.95 sure that the gap or the profit equal 1363 so in our test the pathway from euro to US dollar to Egyptian pound back again to euro this is the profit pathway the blue or profit pathway what about the next the next pathway the next pathway sure equal loss the next pathway sure equal loss loss with the same value in our example say suppose we started with 10 millions of euro and we will check or test the next pathway but we will choose or select the pathway from euro to Egyptian pound to dollar and back again to euro sure the net or the, the, the net situation or the, the result equal loss by 1363 1,363 so the summary we have two directions two pathways one pathway the result equal profit the other pathway sure the result equal loss the next covered interest arbitrage covered interest arbitrage abbreviation CIA okay in the field of fi finance in general the, 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 the word covered the same when we talk about another word like uncovered covered because we talk about forward forex rate covered covered from risk covered against risk but in case of uncovered uncovered no in case of uncovered we talk about expected forex rate so covered covered other other word in our course equal we our trade we deal with the forward forex rate the word uncovered we talk about the expected forex rate okay okay in general covered interest arbitrage cia abbreviation is a process of take advantage of on the interest trade gap between two countries or two markets while covering forex rate risk so when we talk about covering covering interest uh, the forex rate risk by when we talk about forex rate forward forex rate suppose this is uncovered uncovered you will replace forward forex rate by expected forex rate this is the topic with the uh, speculation problem number uh, in our textbook page 100 assume the following info forex spot rate equal 1.6 US dollar per England pound 90 day forward forex rate 
1.65 US dollar per uh, England pound. US 90 day interest rate 2%, UK 90 day interest rate 4%. Now, required design CIA, CIA abbreviation for covered interest arbitrage. Design CIA flow charts if the trader has 100,000 US dollars. This is the first case. And the second case, 100,000 England pounds. Okay. The first case in our example. Suppose the start we started or the trader start trader start with 100,000 US dollar. This is the start your start point. Two options. Number one, to go to US dollar or to make it 2% in our interest rate in the money market in USA with the interest rate 2%. If a trader has 100,000 US dollar, it's profitable to convert the amount to Great Britain pound. This is the, the second direction. But the first direction, number one, Go to the, inter the money market in USA by 2%, 2% annually, but our example, 3 months or 90 days. How many gains, how many gains, or when we talk about gains or profits, per $1? $1 times 2% times 90 divided 360. Because this is three months. One dollar gain one point oh oh five. One point oh oh five. So the net result after ninety days or three months, one hundred thousand dollars started, finished, or ended by one hundred. And uh, one hundred thousand and five hundred dollars. What about the net gains? Only five hundred. Only five hundred. This is the first option. Started with one hundred thousand US dollar, with interest rate in the U in the American uh, money market was two percent. For 90 days, the result gains by $500. What about the next option? Next option. We will start with the same value, 100,000 US dollar. Convert it to England pound. England pound. Buy, go to, or convert it by the spot forex rate. Spot forex rate equal 1.60. 1.60 US dollar per a one England pound. So now we convert 100,000 by 62,500 England pound, and this value go to the money market in UK. In two cases, money market. The first case, money market in USA with 2% at the interest rate. But in case of UK, how many percent? 4% with the same period, 90 days or 3 months. Now, what about the earn or the profit per 1 England bound? 1 England bound with interest rate 4%. For 90 days, 1 England pound equal profit with 1.01, 1.01. But in case of U.S. American or U.S. money market, 1 U.S. dollar equal gain with 1.005. So the net result after 90 days, after 90 days, how many? 3 uh, 60,000, uh, 60, uh, 63,125 
England pound. Now, this trader or the trader make a forward forex trade, forward contract, forward contract for 90 days. How many? 1.65. So, the next direction or the next option, go to the UK money market by converting the spot spot forex rate and earn 4% for the 62,500 Egyptian uh, England bound and make a forward forward forex rate with price 1.65 dollar per the uh, England pound for 90 days the net result equal 100,000 and 4 104,000 and 156 we started with 100,000 the net result equal 104,000 and 156 dollars now what about the net gains net gains the gap between the second option when we go to the UK market and make a contract or forward contract between dollars and England pound the net situation equal profit with three thousand and six hundred and fifty six dollars now it's, it's to, to create a profit or capitalize your uh, budget was one hundred thousand dollars it's possible or you can recommend we recommend the uh, trader to go to spot forex rate and convert it to england pound go to money market in uk with four percent at the same time before 90 days create a forward forex rate with price 1.65 to make gains with $104,156 when we compare between two options the net gains $3,656 this is the first option suppose trader has $100,000 US dollar now, the second option, trader started with 100,000, 100,000, the uh, England pound. Sure, in this case, 100,000 England pound, it's profitable to access to the money market in UK directly. Access to money market directly the profit equal 100,000 and 101,000 101,000 England pound but suppose the trader try to go to the US money market with converting converting by spot forex rate with 2% and create a forex forward contract the net situation loss so we started with 100,000 England pound if we choose the second option by go to the, the American money market the net value equal 97,455 so in two cases it's we recommend that trader access to the UK money market to capitalize the budget. The next option or the next transaction we talk about international hedging. International hedging. In case of hedging, hedging, we talk about how you can convert the risk. How you can convert the risk by trading in the financial international financial markets. 
um, maybe investors don't want to uncontrollable market wide risk consideration and affect economic transactions in all transactions we talk about risk how you can avoid risk is the main problem main problem for investors or traders in our textbook in page our page number uh, 107 talk about the hedging techniques to can avoid hedging techniques to can avoid the uh, risks maybe by futures by forward markets by money markets by currency option talk about techniques to can eliminate the risk eliminate the risk in all cases Purples hedging and receivable hedging, for example, in case of future, buy currency future contract, putting this in the other case, sell currency future contract, and in case of forward, the same in case of money market, and in case of currency option. Say, for example, in case of money market, borrow domestic currency converted to foreign currency and invest till needed. Say I am I am I am importer. Say I am I am Egyptian I am Egyptian importer, and I want to import products from USA with the value one hundred thousand US dollars. But the payment due to ninety days. Maybe I want to make a hedge, to make a hedge for and uh, I want to risk avoid to avoid the risk. Maybe one option to pour the domestic currency convert it to foreign currency. Buy, I will purchase the the one hundred thousand dollars and go to the money market or create a deposit in any a bank and earn the interest rate till ninety days. This is the say the, the case to avoid risk. When we talk about hedging, you avoid the risk. But in case of problem seven, in case of our problem seven, in our textbook, in our textbook, in page one hundred and four. Now we look about expectations, expectations for the uh, value between two currencies. Assume the AG Trade Corporation imported products from Germany and needs 100,000 euros at, uh, due to 180 days from now. It's trying to determine the whether, whether to hedge this possession. You want to hedge or not? What about expectation about hedging? Possible value, this is the first column. Possible value of euro in 180 days. Maybe uh, we talk about 17.928. What about probability or percent? Maybe 5%. But now, what about the spot forex rate? Spot forex rate equal 1. Euro equals 17.925 euro. This is the spot. I want to know the forward, forward forex rate, forward forex rate between Egyptian pound and the same euro. 1 euro equals 17.938 Egyptian pound. Probability that after 180 days, maybe the uh, rate equals 17.928 how many percent or probability for this expectation five percent maybe 17.930 how many percent ten percent expectation 17.932 after all all expectations or estimations or forecasting from now to 180 days after 180 days from now 
30%, 30%, 20%, 5%. All percent equal 100%. So how many rates? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fix rates or forex rates about scenarios, expected scenarios. Mainly, we talk about two rates, two rates, 17.932, 17.932. Nine three five, two rates from the the forex rate between Egyptian bound and euro. After one hundred and eighty days, maybe from seventeen point nine three two to seventeen point nine three five by sixty percent. Sixty percent. Okay, how we can solve this problem? The requirement number one required now develop a table showing visibility analysis. Number one, we, we want to check about visibility analysis for hedging, it's feasible or not. Number two, probability with hedging about more costly. <clears throat> Number three, expected value of additional cost of hedging. Now if you want to solve this problem, our table about visibility analysis for hedging. How many columns? Column 1, column 2. Column 1 and column 2, Gavins. Possible forex rate with percent. Probability about percent. What about the third column? Nominal cost of hedging. What a, how, how the value of hedging, the amount of hedging? Amount of hedging equal 100,000 euro. 100,000 of euro. Okay? To hedge, to hedge 100,000 of euro. You will multiply 100,000 of euro by the forward forex rate. This is the forward forex rate with 180 days 17.938 so all rows in this column equal 1793800 equal 100000 euro multiplied with the forward forex rate which is 17.938 What about column number 4? Column number 4 Column number 4 Equal The amount of 100,000 of euro But unhedged Unhedged So column number 3 With hedging but column number four, unhedging. In case of unhedge, we took about 100,000 100, euro multiplied with the probability of the exchange rate after 180 days. For example, in case of this rate, 17.928 multiply with 100,000 euro. The result equal this value. 17.93 multiply with 100 euro. So this is the column with unhedge, unhedging. Took about scenarios, of, uh, available scenarios with probability for unhedged. The last column. RCH in case of RCH RCH abbreviation for real cost of hedging pebbles real cost of hedging real cost of hedging equal the gap between hedging and unhedging column number 3 minus column number 4. Column number 3 minus column number 4.
RCH. If you check RCH, real cost of hedging, real cost of hedging, all values we will check about sign positive, 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 negative, negative. Only two rows with negative sign. Okay. Number two. What about the probability of hedging will be more costly than no hedging? Now, the sign negative and negative. How, how many percent? 20% and 5%. All in all, 25%. 25% for negative sign. The positive sign equal 75 percent 7 of 5 percent plus 10 plus 30 plus 30 so you can call that there is 75 percent 75 percent probability that hedging will be more costly hedging will be more costly than no hedge only 25%, only 25% probability that hedging will be more or cheaper than no hedge. 70% probability, the sum of positive, sum of positive between, different between hedging and the unhedging, hedging and unhedging. So, you can write there is a 75% probability that hedging will be more costly than no hedge. 75% the amount of positive side. The next, next transaction, international speculation. In case of international uh, speculation, in our uh, page 107 um, maybe uh, to make a summary in any market it may possible have three different types of agents we talk about traders talk about arbitrators and speculators in all cases we we'll talk about the difference between traders traders may be a clients taste condition their demand organizers whose costs determine the supply arbitrators thoughts who take advantage of local price variations speculators in case of speculators we we'll talk about risk taker speculator equal risk taker you can get a profit but your profit or loss based on your expectation as a speculator. Suppose you, you're, you're forecasting about the price of US dollar in the next 30 days. I, I expect that, for example, I expect that the, the price of US dollar will increase after 30 days. This is my expectation uh, as I, I am a speculator. So this scenario will make the possible to purchase more dollars nowadays due to expectation that the price will increase in the future. Suppose my, my expectation true in the future. After 30 days, yes, the price of US dollar increase. Good news for me as a speculator. I will uh, I, I will prepare get more profits I will gain from my expectation but unfortunately suppose the price of dollar decreased after 30 days bad news for me and the result equal loss so we can call in case of speculation zero sum gain zero sum gain your expectation true okay profit your expectation false loss okay 
Speculation unlike arbitrage. Speculation risky. Speculation risky. Speculation affects many macroeconomic variables. Speculation affects many macroeconomic variables, especially the forex rate and how stable is. In this case, we compare between stable speculation and unstable speculation. In case of a stable, stable speculation, in this case, suppose there are many unfavorable variables for a given currency, which may lead to depreciation in the future va currency value. At the same time, speculators still demand this currency. Okay. In case of stable speculation, uh, let's use the same example in our uh, expectation that the US dollar will increase in the future. Another, another speculator, another speculator, suppose the price of dollars, uh, bad news about uh, US economy, bad news about variables like unemployment, inflation in USA, and so on. So, all bad news, all bad news about American economy. The expectation in the future that the US dollar value will depreciate or decrease. In this case, two scenarios two scenarios the first scenario that speculators still demand still demand and forecast a, a positive news about the US dollar in the future so when we compare between the current situation bad news and bad variables about the American economy so the output after 30 days, sure, maybe US dollar will decrease at the value. At the same time, with bad news about and bad variables about American economy, speculators are still increasing the demand about dollar. So we talk about two cases. The first case, bad news, bad variables about US economy. At the same time, speculators still want US dollar, demand US dollar. This is the case of a staple of speculation. A staple speculation relationship between positive value with the speculator when the speculators still demand the dollar with negative value about the US American data, bad values, bad uh, macroeconomic variables. This is, this is in this case is speculation wanted. We hope stable speculation. But the the bad case, the worst case, unstable speculation. Unstable speculation, the main source for all currency crises. Unstable speculation. The main source or the main reason for all currency crises. What about unstable? Unstable speculation. Our example the same bad news, bad data about the American economy. At the same time, speculators forecasting the bad news or bad value about US dollar. So, in this case, two negative. Negative about American situation, American economy situation and variables. The same, speculators, speculators supply all US dollars. Walk in the same, the same route. Walk in the same route. The main result for US dollar, US dollar will drop or decrease or depreciate because two negative sources, two negative sides. Negative side from US American economy and negative side about expectation of speculators. Okay.
The last problem in our chapter 2, problem number 8, in page 109. Suppose the current spot forex rate, 1.96 US dollar per uh, England pound, and 6 months forward rate, 1.92 US dollar per England pound. Based on your analysis of forex rate, you are confident that the spot forex rate will be 1.94 1.94 US dollar per England pound in the six months as you that <clears throat> you would like to buy or sell two millions of the uh, England pound in our cases two options in our cases two options they started Two millions of England pound, the first case and the second case. What about the forward market? Forward market price equal 1.92. Forward market 1.92. You will expect at the first rate that the expected rate equal 1.94. So you compare between the forward rate, the forward rate agreed from now, 1.92 US dollar per England pound. Expected rate, you expect that the rate equal 1.94. So, 2 millions of England pound with forward market times 1.92 with your expected rate with price 1.94. So the net result equal profit. Profit because the expected value, negative forward value, equal profit was $40,000. The next case, the same 2 millions of England pound, the same forward market price 1.92, but the actual rate, the actual rate equal 1.86 1.86 is lower than the forward market lower than the forward market so loss by 120 120 thousands of US dollar the difference between actual and the forward market now uh, chapter 2 finished chapter 2 took about forex market and we will start now chapter 3 with the entitled international bonds market international bonds market first definition and background about international bonds market international bonds may be government or sovereigns or corporate bonds issued in the country or a currency foreign to the issuer. In other words, an international bond is a formal contract to repay borrowed money with the interest at fixed intervals. In history, this is the definition. In history, history we talk about some developments in the uh, international bonds uh, issue. We started with the 100, one, uh, 1820, with, with the, the date with the 1820, this is decades. This is the governments uh, of railway companies or corporates, the main foreign issuer of the bonds. This is in London financial markets. The next stage, 1850 decades, to World War One, to World War One. London and Paris were the main financial centers in which large foreign bond market traders. So. We started with London and in the next stage we took about London and Paris. The third, 1920 decades, decade, however, took about 
the problem after World War II and the Euro economic problems, the UK make a limit to issue of foreign sterling bonds in the London due to the problems of World War II. This is the, the history or the third stage in our history. Since 1945, 1945 we talk about the cooperation between nations after the World War II to create new world order. After Bretton Woods conference, we, we explained in the first chapter. Um, case of 1945, look about the emergency of New York. In all three stages, we talk about maybe UK, maybe Paris, but since 1945, this is the emergency of the uh, emergence of New York and um, major foreign bond market. For example, about the value, some uh, 14 billions of US dollar capital was increased in the dollar foreign bond market in the year from years from 1946 to 1963. How about the value? Uh, maybe 14 billion of US dollar as a bond. In case of 1980, 1980, foreign bonds market, we took about new issues, new currencies like Japanese yen, Swiss franc. These uh, two currencies grows or grown rapidly when they bond the market. Mainly, our uh, last date, uh, 2019. 2019, what about the size of international bond markets? Maybe over 24 uh, trillions, 24 trillions of US dollar. The size of market for international bonds. Electronic bond trading platform. When we compare the first value, from uh, from 1945, we took about maybe 14 billions of US dollars as a bond. Now we took about trillions, 24 trillions of US dollars for a bond. Maybe traders and brokers use the electronic bond trading platform like Tradeway, Broker, Tech, Euro, MTS, and so on. Now we'll show the uh, examples of TradeWeb, TradeWeb.com as a platform for international bonds, our clients, any data, media, statistics, and you can request any info about the uh, international bonds. The same, BrokerTech, data and uh, analytics, uh, Broker offering codes, statistics. You need to make a login to create an account for platforms. Platforms to increasing the traded electronic bonds like TradeWeb and Broker Tech. The last point in our lecture today some terminologies related to international bonds. The first par value, phase value, nominal, principal, all related to the amount that must be repaid at the end of life of a bond. The second issue price, price at which investors buy the bonds when they are first issued, which will uh, be pro approximately equal to nominal amount. Majority date, the date on which the issuer must pay back the holders with the nominal amount. Coupon rate, coupon rate, the interest rate for that the issuer pays to the bond holders. Coupon, uh, coupon frequency, how often the coupon payments may be once a year, twice a year, monthly, weekly, and so on. 
fixed compound bonds. In case of fixed coupon, they pay fixed amount or fixed percent or fixed interest rate, for example, 10%, floating rate or floating coupon rate. Talk about uh, based on some uh, indexes like uh, LIBOR, uh, inter interest rate between banks or interbank interest rate in the London plus 2%, LIBOR and plus 2%. Zero coupon bonds, took about discounting, pay no coupon payment in this case, but the price or the profit for the holder, the difference between the nominal price or par value with the actual price paid. The last mortgage bonds, the issuer used assets, as a collateral, granted bonds, in case of granted bonds, uh, the bonds that are secured by other organizations, debenture uh, bonds, no guarantee or clutter, market price, in case of market price, market price, the bond price in the secondary market, which may be at premium or discount. Premium or discount, when we talk about the difference between principal or the uh, par value and the market price. Uh, Critical bonds. Bond holder has the right to ask for the payment of the par value from the issuer at specific prices and specific dates before the actual maturity. Critical bonds. Colorful bond, the issuer has the right to ask to pay the par value to bond, uh, bond holder at specific prices and specific dates before the actual maturity. Conversion features, conversion features, the bond holder has the right to convert bonds to stocks at the maturity of the bond according to two specific conditions, asset backed securities, bonds granted by other loans or personal properties, bonds with sinking in the fund provision, the issuer retire gradually the bond from the market before maturity. In general, the types of uh, bonds and details, what about the difference between euro bonds and foreign bonds, what about the American bonds, all related, uh, all, all items, this, this is the topic in our next lecture. I hope you enjoyed with this uh, lecture and we will complete our lecture in the Google Classroom and goodbye.